comes to space, we often think that a black hole is the scariest thing out there, which, to be fair, they are super terrifying. But I would venture to say that the most terrifying thing about space is how little we actually understand about it. Welcome back friends, thanks for tuning in to another video. My name is Kennedy and today we are going to be launching into space and counting down the top 10 space discoveries scarier than a black hole. Let's get started. First up in our number 10 spot are zombie stars. Back in 2014, NASA announced it had discovered a star system that had been the victim of a fairly weak supernova explosion they referred to as SN2012Z. Now, boring scientific name aside, normally when a star supernovas, that's kind of it. But in the case of the zombie stars, scientists found that a part of the system's dwarf star may have somehow survived, kind of like the undead. And while they haven't officially confirmed anything just yet, that only makes it all the more suspicious. However, that's not even the wildest part. Apparently another reason they're called zombie stars is that they scream as they eat other stars. As NASA explained, several seemingly dead stars are emitting high energy x-rays that could well be their howls or screams, which is just about the weirdest and scariest thing I have ever learned about. Moving on to number nine, the faces of Mars. There are many things I could guess you might find in space, space junk, satellites, maybe even an alien if you're lucky, but the last thing I would probably guess would be a human face on the surface of the red planet. Well, back in 1976, while circling Mars in search of landing sites for its sister ship, the Viking 1 snapped a few photos that were intended for NASA engineers to study. Now, the strange thing about this photo is obvious. It appears as though there is a human face-shaped object on the surface of another planet, which, I mean, just brings up so many questions. Now, as far as NASA has officially announced, it's nothing too exciting, just merely a huge rock formation, which resembles a human head formed by shadows, giving the illusion of eyes, nose, and mouth. However, this hasn't deterred conspiracy theorists from getting their two cents in, and some believe that it could all be a cover-up for some kind of alien life on Mars. More specifically, the theory states that the face is the remnant of an alien civilization, while also suggesting that other rocky formations in the area could be a crumbling extraterrestrial city, almost like some kind of alien Atlantis, which not only would make a very cool sci-fi movie, but would be a mind-blowing cover up if it turned out to be true. Coming in at number eight, space snakes. It's one thing when there's an alleged alien sighting from your neighbor down the street, but it really feels a lot more intense when the creature in question was actually spotted by an astronaut while in space. The astronaut in question is Dr. Story Musgraves, who is not only a decorated former astronaut, but also a physician and consultant. And according to him, he witnessed a strange creature on two separate occasions while in space. Quote, on two of my missions, and I still don't have an answer, um, I have seen a snake out there, six, seven, eight feet long. It is rubbery because it has internal waves in it and it follows you for a rather long period of time. The more you fly, in space, the more you see an incredible amount of things out there. And that sort of brings to you really a certainty that other living creatures are out there. Now, of course, many were skeptical of his space snake sighting, and theories like it being a hose or a piece of space debris have been used to discredit him. But Musgraves has never once wavered and insists on what he saw. Quote, other living creatures are out there and other civilizations that have been around for a million years that are doing unimaginable kinds of things. Things. Coming in at number seven, wow signal. Back in 1977, astronomer Jerry Eamon was researching at the Ohio State University when an incredible and unexplainable radio signal was detected using the school's big ear telescope. In those days, information was run through what was called an IBM 1130 mainframe computer before being printed on paper and then studied by hand. Upon reviewing the findings, Jerry came across something he had never seen before. They there in a vertical column was the sequence 6EQUJ5. Jerry was flabbergasted and immediately circled the sequence and wrote, wow, 
right beside it, hence the name. The signal they picked up had come from nearly 220 million light years away, and there was no explanation as to how or why a radio signal could be detected from that distance. It immediately became a sensation in both the science community and the rest of the world, and was used to support the search for alien life in the universe. Jerry himself says he's convinced that it certainly has the potential to be the first signal from extraterrestrial intelligence, but despite best efforts, no such signal has ever been seen since which only makes it all the more intriguing. Next up at number six, alien cover-up. Back in April of 1979, Viktor Afanasyev lifted off and began making his way to the Salyut 6 space station. However, while he was making his way there, he claims to have witnessed a very strange sight. Quote, it followed us during half of our orbit. We observed it on the light side, and when we entered to the shadow side, it disappeared completely. It was an engineering structure made from some type of metal approximately 40 meters long with inner hulls. The object was narrow here and wider here, and inside there were openings. Some places had projections like small wings. The object stayed very close to us. We photographed it, and our photos showed it to be 23 to 28 meters away. Now, that in and of itself is a little suspicious. Victor also claims to have continually reported back to mission control about its size, shape, and position. But when the cosmonaut returned to Earth, he was allegedly debriefed and ordered not to talk to anyone about it ever. And to make matters even stranger, he claims his cameras were confiscated and his photos and his voice transmissions from space have never been released. I mean, that definitely sounds like someone is hiding something if you ask me. Moving on to number five, Eridanus Supervoid. The Eridanus Supervoid is an extremely large and eternally empty chunk of, well, space that from what scientists can tell is around 1 billion light years in diameter. For reference, one light year is supposed to be about 9 trillion kilometers or 6 trillion miles. So times 9 trillion by 1 billion and that's how big this giant supervoid is. Now as far as astronomical standards go, that's a hefty size. And the supervoid is so large that so far it can't be explained by the current theories of the universe, which is pretty unnerving in a few ways. The most straightforward theory about the supervoid suggests the existence of an insanely massive black hole that would have the power to suck in stars, planets, light, and dark matter, among other space stuff, and that with each inhale of the universe, it will get stronger and stronger. All of which sounds horrifying. But that's not the only theory. Some researchers propose the void is actually evidence of a parallel universe, maybe even one being controlled by a horde of ruthless aliens. Of course, the second theory requires some more concrete evidence, but either way, this super void still seems pretty freaky. Moving on to number four, the end of the universe. It's no secret that eventually, billions of years from now, the sun will expand into a red giant and kill the earth. But what is a little more up for debate is how the entire universe itself will die. According to the BBC, some scientists feel the universe will perish via heat death, which suggests that heat itself will die and the entire universe will freeze just a tick above absolute zero. Another theory called the Big Crunch Theory, which is almost the exact opposite of the Big Bang, suggests that the universe will continue expanding until that's all it can expand and when it can expand no more, everything will contract and collapse into itself. Then there is the Big Change Theory, where bubbles of dark energy consume our universe, rendering everything inhospitable to the point where even atoms might not form anymore. And finally, the big rip theory, where dark energy would expand, become more massive, and just tear galaxies to pieces. Now, these are all just theories, of course, but each one sounds as terrifying as the last. At least it won't be happening for a very long time. Coming in at number three, a scary supernova. To break it down, supernovas are pretty much giant star explosions, and they aren't uncommon, so it's not usually something that would seem too scary. But apparently, the ASASSN-15LH was a supernova 
unlike any other. For starters, it was a super luminous supernova observed in June of 2015 that originated 2.8 billion light years away, which would mean that it actually exploded 2.8 billion years ago. But what makes it special, or scary, I guess, is that scientists can't explain it. Unlike a regular supernova, this one was 10 times brighter and considerably more powerful. Also, when astronomers analyzed the light it was emitting, they couldn't find evidence of the hydrogen that should have been present. The initial explanation for the massive supernova involved what's called a magnetar, which is kind of a magnetic neutron star, and the theory was was that the powerful magnetic field it provides could have added extra energy to the expanding ball of superheated gas. But then they realized that this scary star emitted more energy than a magnetar would have been able to provide. And apparently, even months after the boom, it was still giving off more energy than the entire Milky Way. Honestly, the more they try to figure out, the more confusing it seems to be. And if some of the smartest people in the world can't figure out what's going on, well, that's pretty scary. Moving on to number two, the Great Attractor. As if giant exploding stars and potential alien life forms were not enough to get you freaked out, there is also a phenomenon half galaxy that is essentially the universe equivalent of being dragged toward an inescapable doom. Essentially what's happening is that the Milky Way, its companion galaxies, and various other galactic stuff are all moving toward an area of space at a speed of 2.2 million kilometers per hour. Now to ease you a bit, while that is very fast for us, it's apparently slower in space terms, but we still don't really know what is dragging all the matter in that direction. According to scientists, the speed at which we are moving implies an area of space creating a massive gravitational force, roughly equivalent to 10,000 galaxies. And since it is sucking in everything within a consistent considerable distance, this mysterious region has been dubbed the Great Attractor. However, we can't actually see it, so we're kind of being dragged blindly. The reason being is that the Great Attractor sits in a region of space referred to by astronomers as the Zone of Avoidance. And it's called that because it sits exactly on the other side of the densest part of the Milky Way, thus observing it through all those stars and massive clouds of space dust is nearly impossible. How fun, right? And last up in our number one spot, GRB. Short for gamma ray bursts, GRB GRBs are basically giant, super long explosions of energy. Now, the good news is that none have ever been observed in our own galaxy, and they apparently don't happen all too often in other galaxies. But that also means scientists don't know as much about them as they would like to. As NASA explains, GRBs might be caused by low energy gamma rays that once exposed to space explode into high energy rays, but that is just one of the ongoing theories at this point. But the terrifying reality of GRBs doesn't end at a lack of complete understanding. A 2014 study showed frequent GRB explosions have left swaths of the universe completely inhospitable. That study also said there's a good chance a GRB was the cause of at least one mass extinction event in Earth's history. Meaning that if a GRB ever landed in our galaxy, the human race could, in theory, be completely wiped out. Well, that's all I got for you today, my friends. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know down below what you think the most terrifying thing about space is. All right, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.